sunny Sunday morning. But what's truly heating it up is that the most exotic supercars you can find in India are all assembled at one single venue. I'm at the Mahalakshmi Racecourse and this is the 2015 Park Supercar Show. Just in case you don't know what that is, well, the Park Supercar Show is an annual event that allows members of the Supercar Club to flaunt their exotic beauties for all to see and rub shoulders with some of the most aspirational vehicles money can buy. Be it bulls, horses, ghosts or even the more common BMWs, Audis and Mercs, there is something for every petrolhead's fancy. And while each of the 100 participating cars were getting their share of selfies, the one turning most heads was this gleaming red Italian. I think we've tried every year to take the show up one notch at a time and uh, we've succeeded with that. So this year we've got the La Ferrari here, which is a very different car. So we're very happy with that. Only 499 of these will ever be made and lo and behold, we have one in Mumbai. This hybrid supercar is powered by the alliance of a 789 bhp 6.3-litre V12 engine and a 161 bhp electric motor. These combined give it an output of a mammoth 950 bhp and over 91.8 kilograms of torque, which Ferrari says helps this horse clock over 350 kilometers per hour. Giving the extraordinary La Ferrari company were supercars from the revered stables of Maserati, Aston Martin, Porsche, Jaguar, pretty much any other brand that's adorned your bedroom's walls. But there was still room for more. What we have here now is a bare to the bone performer. And talking about this car here will be one of the finest drivers in India today, Gaurav Gill. Hello. Uh, we've got uh, this new, uh, the, the not new now, I mean I've been driving this car for a while and every time I come here I, I love to drive the Atom, the aerial Atom. It's one of the most hardcore cars as you said, you know, you can drive and buy. Uh, I, I think uh, the world has, has to offer and uh, it's so close to a race car or a rally car that we guys drive. It's set up like that, you know, it's, it's meant to be driven hard all the time. It's, there's no luxury, there's no roof, there's no air conditioning, as there's absolutely can. nothing, it's just bare to the bone. With all that attention on their beauties, the car owners couldn't help but sit back and take in all that adulation and adoration. If you have the passion, you can do whatever you really want to do. Uh, having a car like this or any other car makes a big difference because it's part of your life. And uh, all these cars are in some way connected with you at some point in your life. And so the R8 is, is a very beautiful car. I've named it Alicia. It's got amazing power. Then secondly, uh, we've specially got the entire car customized. If you take a look at it right from top to bottom, right from the paint job, the only thing common with other R8s is the carbon, carbon fiber panels on the sides. It may be called the Super Car Parade, but it also has an awesome lineup of super bikes. In fact, 25 of them this time around. More than enough to set anyone's pulse racing. To admire them, stationary is one thing. But once they start up, it's even better. One by one, the cars trickled out from Turf Club towards Mumbai's Narman Point. Then turned around and headed to Bandra via the ceiling and then finally headed back to the Turf Club. And they were cheered on by enthusiastic crowds who'd lined up the streets to watch a convoy that's rarely seen on Mumbai streets. As you can see, the parade has ended, the cars are back here and now they are rolling out. These beasts gave Mumbai a day of wonder, talk-laden grunt all across, booming the streets.